I wanted to just touch base with you because we are kicking off and celebrating the 2020 Bounce Back Award nomination window. It's open from April 1st to April 30th. And your resilience and ability to bounce back after two lung transplants uh, is why you were our winner in 2018. And I just keep thinking about you, especially through this COVID, and I know that you are very active in the cystic fibrosis community. How has everybody been doing, or is this kind of a norm for you? Actually, it is a norm. I mean, everything that's on the news, we don't watch the news that often, but everything that we're hearing and seeing is the same thing we've been taught all our lives. And so I had a lot of employees approach me. They were very concerned about me being in the office and everything that's going on. This was a couple weeks back. And they're like, has your transplant team reached out to you? Has your CF team? And I was like, no, I probably won't hear from them because they know that they've taught us well and we just continue doing all of the precautions every day like we always do. Um, so yeah, I didn't necessarily hear from any member of my team for, I don't know, last week they started touching base and sending out things and just reassuring us that, you know, everything in at UCSF and UC Davis were handled well and to get in touch with them if we needed anything, so. That's good. You were nominated because um, the award is called Bounce Back, Give Back, and you bounced back from your lung transplants. You not only had one, but two, one in 2011 and one in 2016. Um, but we do look for people that lead a great quality of life post-transplant and you seem to hit the gamut. And then that second part of the award is give back. So you give back to the cystic fibrosis community, but also you joined us after you received your award at uh, Scripps and Radies Children's Hospital in San Diego. What does it mean to you when you have the opportunity to go back or speak to transplant recipients or those that are going through the process? It means a lot to me. Like it just keeps the perspective fresh. Um, it's easy after you're able to breathe and do all the things. I'm working full time and able to kind of do all the simple things. Again, you kind of lose sight of that stuff really quickly. So it keeps me grounded that I can stay in every um, every part of the process. So I start talking or mentoring someone with CF who's just thinking about going on the list and then they you know, are quite sick on oxygen all the time and then they're listed and then they get their transplant. So it's cool to stay present always in that process and just be reminded that honestly in any second I could be back at any one of those steps too, mm -hmm. um, having gone through a second transplant already. So yeah, it just really keeps things grounded for me. And I feel like it's the best thing I can do because I have been through all the, all the steps of it. So mm -hmm. remind yeah. me who nominated you. Do you remember? My sister did. Oh, fun. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll have to thank her for doing the process and <laughs> we're looking for nominations throughout the month. It was so good to catch up with you. You too, Lauren. Thank you so much. And make sure to say hi to the rest of the gang for me.